Good evening. He was one of Canada's most respected journalists. Earl McRae was 69 years old when he collapsed and died in the Ottawa Sun newsroom yesterday. He reported in eastern Ontario, Toronto and Peterborough for more than 40 years and readers have filled social media sites with memories of his stories and his larger-than-life character. McRae wasn't only an award-winning columnist. He was author of two books and helped establish the Elvis Sighting Society, a charity that helps people in Ottawa who are in need. Colleagues say his death leaves a gap in Ottawa journalism that will be impossible to fill. Burrow understood the art of the question. He was inquisitive, and I think that's at the root of all good journalism. He asked the right questions, and he drew up the story that perhaps others didn't see. He knew how to get people to open up, and that's the secret to good storytelling, is letting people tell their own stories. He's the guy who made it. He'll be missed for sure. McRae leaves behind five children and three grandchildren. The date and location of his funeral have not been announced. Tonight, they laughed. They cried. I lost a friend. I lost a brother. I lost a hero. Remembering the late great Earl McRae. After decades of dictatorship, what now for Libya? And zombies on the move. What's the attraction of joining the undead and hitting the streets of the capital? CTV News with Timothy Walker. Good evening. Hundreds packed a West End church to say goodbye to a man who some say was larger than life itself. Ottawa Sun columnist Earl McRae was laid to rest today. CTV's Karen Solomon was at the service today. Karen. Timothy, it was a powerful two-hour service today at St. Augustine Parish. There were tears and laughter in a service that his widow says he would have loved. Award-winning Ottawa Sun columnist Earl McRae was a man who touched many lives. Just about everybody that knew Earl felt that he was, she was, his best friend. An iconic figure and uh, going to be greatly missed by me and uh, everybody in the community. The 69-year-old died suddenly last Saturday in the newsroom, working on his last column. The only deadline he ever missed. He left us far too early and with no warning. But I think we are comforted by the knowledge that he died doing exactly what he was put on this earth to do. Colleagues, politicians, friends and family bid a fond farewell to a master storyteller, a man with a big heart and an enormous sense of humor. A service laced with tears, laughter and memories of the man who was Earl McRae. He used to ask bizarre questions to poor unsuspecting drive through attendants such as, are your chickens freshly dead? Dad created tons of fun, loving, great memories. There are no children that could ever have had what we had. I'll see you down the road, Dad. I love you. Mayor Jim Watson recalled the nicknames McRae had for him. I was the kid. Where's Waldo? <laughs> Appropriate touches marked McRae's funeral. The traditional guest book replaced with reporters' notepads. Men wore red bow ties. And then there's the Elvis impersonator. McRae co-founded the Elvis Sighting Society. The charity has raised more than $750,000. His co-founder and his best friend is coping with the loss. I lost a friend. I lost a brother. I lost a hero. I lost a big part of my heart. We sat with her lots of hours. There was seven days a week I used to be with him. I respect that man. I'll never forget him. I will miss him, his presence. He was, well, you knew him. He was larger than life. It's a beautiful service. Earl McRae is laid to rest at Pinecrest Cemetery. And after the service today, many people gathered at Grace O'Malley's on Maryville Road, many of them Ottawa Sun employees, to hoist a final pint to remember their beloved colleague. Timothy? Thank you, Karen.